Welcome to today's video. First of all, I would like to apologize for not uploading regularly. I was out of the country and before that it was my brother's wedding. So I couldn't make any content for a good two months. But anyway, I'm back now and I hope to make a lot of content now. Uh, Lala is back. Uh, the engine is fixed. Uh, the ECU the old ECU went kaput, so we have a replacement now. Um, it's still having some issues, but right now we just want to test uh, how the car works. It feels good. I drove it on the street. It feels good. I want to see how it drifts, you know, how uh, the car behaves. Uh, moreover, we are at a different ground this time and hopefully this one has a good surface we can drift on and i want to drift on second gear in the last video we were just doing first gear drifts now i want to do a little higher speed and second gear drifts so we'll see how it goes i won't have the in-car uh, footage because uh, we'll be mounting this camera on another car and uh, trying to get the view from outside while the car is following uh, this car and um, sometimes you know the car will be ahead so you can get the view from the front um, anyways uh, summers are here it's yeah. freaking hot but um, we'll keep on hustling and um, I want to get a lot of work done so let's get on with this video then before we begin let's understand what i discovered from this test so you can spot it while watching the video first the engine runs much better but we still having heating issues second the gear ratios are too long notice how the car box down when i shift to second gear also we don't have much power but the gear ratios are still long We'll fix that issue by fitting smaller wheels, effectively changing the final drive ratios and hopefully the car won't bog down when we shift gears. The car has a lot of body roll, so we need to fix that. We need a sway bar or empty roll bar. We'll do that in future episodes. It's no fun to drift on the ground as the surface is not even and it's dangerous to do high speed drifts. We will be going to a track soon, but we'll make sure the car is ready for it first. We need a bucket seat because I'm getting sloshed left and right in there because of all the G-forces. 